Hello, it's Mike Farley. We're in Frisco, Texas tonight, and we're looking at boulder coping. So here, what we've done, instead of the standard water line pile, is the pile is removed. We've got boulders all the way in the water, so it gives a more natural look. The other thing is, we didn't want a real big waterfall on this project. We're right up against the fence, and trying to build some six-foot-high waterfall would look really contrived. So we wanted a little accent that would give a little bit of sound uh, with some plantings behind it. So this is what's called boulder coping. Okay, boulder coping is typically about 18 inches deep, and it's about 18 to 24 inches tall, and it's going to be a little bit irregular. They're not real big, massive boulders. And then in here, we had two three-quarter inch lines. These are small lines, just to come in and give a little bit of water coming out to give a little bit of sound. So it's not to create some big visual effect. It's not to create a lot of water sound. It's just something small and understated, which works really well in the small lots that you see in a lot of people's backyards. So what is this? This is boulder coping. Uh, in this particular case, we use moss rock. Moss rock is going to have the lichens growing on it, you can see. Uh, and it uh, is darker in color. So the turbulence from the water shows up much better. The alternative here in the North Texas area is limestone boulders, uh, which are going to be white, and the water doesn't show up as well from a visual standpoint. So what is it? It's boulder coping, and we're in Frisco tonight, and we hope to see you all soon. Take care.